I grew up in a Christian family, Christian household. My dad was a worship leader and a children's pastor. My oldest brother was a youth pastor and is now starting a church out in Des Moines. And so it just kind of grew up in this whole idea of God and church. And yet, unlike so many other adolescents who choose to follow a different path of faith during their college years, Connor McGinnis stuck with his conservative Iowan roots, proving to be more and more difficult as time went along. And then I came to school here and started going to parties a little bit, started being involved in that kind of scene because I was in sports and I was kind of an outcast if I didn't, and then started getting crap for not drinking and they found out I hadn't ever, ever had sex with a girl. Connor showed up and he was like the sports guy at this first meeting. He's like, I'm gonna run track, I'm a high jumper, I'm gonna play basketball. And then he like blows out two knees and he can't, and he can't run or jump. So then he thinks, well, I'll go out for swimming because um, he wanted to compete. Weighing 275 pounds in high school, Connor says he never wants to go back even though it was that competitive drive that resulted in those injuries, costing him his varsity spot on the basketball team. In the interim, he's played every sport imaginable here at Simpson because of his desire to be active, in addition to being a leader in the Simpson community. How have you overcome adversity? <laughs> um, well, I, I told, said I have a, had knee injuries and uh, had a concussion more than anything, it's just getting back up. But you gotta figure out what's really important to you. And so for me, I knew God was important to me. And because if I died the next day, I wanna know that I'm going to heaven and get to spend the rest of my life with God. He's a very passionate person when it comes to people. He loves people. I've really seen him grow and ex mature and expand in his ability to see into people's lives and to care for people and, and to know them on a whole new level. And not only that, but then to be able to come alongside of them and walk with them through some of the journeys or through some of the sufferings or through some of the problems that they've had because of, of his journey. Connor has been a part of shepherding and helping numerous people kind of find their place at Simpson, whether it's with their walk with God or in classes. Instead of identity found in sports, his identity is now found in coming alongside and helping people. Connor says his legacy isn't important, but he will indefinitely leave behind a brand of servant leadership something all of us can learn from. Reporting for The Simpsonian, I'm Alex Kirkpatrick.